Okay, here's a quick tutorial on how to do color pencil blending for our zombie hands. So what I'm doing is just taking one colored pencil and then another and doing a different value scale on each side. In the middle, I'm gonna practice a little bit on how to blend those together. And then really, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna cover my whole finger, in this case, with um, a light green. And then I'm gonna begin to plan and try to figure out how I can show value using a different color rather than different pressure. So in this case, my different color value is going to be blue. I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow on top for some highlighting. And for my fingernail, uh, really, it's just gonna be kind of some gross sort of skin tone, dirty colors. So I've got some yellow down first, some red, and a little bit of tan on there. And to top it off, I'm hitting it with a little bit of gray. But I want you to notice that I'm using tons of different colors. I'm not just coloring one color on my hand. Over here, I wanna get kind of a bruising effect. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a purpley color and move on from there. Then on my other side, I'm gonna add some blue underneath. Look how light I am coloring. Super, super light because we're gonna be layering on lots and lots of colors. So on top of that, I'm adding green, this like gross green skin tone. And again, dressing the nail with some red, some yellow, there's even a little gray in there, definitely some tan. Yeah, these are looking disgusting, which is pretty great. All of that bruising comes from layers and layers of colors. So take your time, start light, add layers, even colors that you don't think will make sense. If you add them lightly in layers, they're gonna look awesome. Remember, you're not just coloring super flat. No. If you've already done that, then come back in with another colored pencil similar to your color and feather out some of those lines. We don't wanna see your brush strokes or pencil strokes. So once you've kind of thinned those out and fanned them out, look at some colors that are next to the color you chose on the color wheel, in my case, yellow and blue, and start adding um, different value with your color. So you're gonna layer on some maybe blue, maybe some yellow, and then some dirty kind of tans and browns to really make these zombie hands kind of dirty looking and old and gross. For that open wound, I'm doing a couple of colors um, in the red family, red and purple, and then I'm layering on some blue and even a little bit of green to just sort of dirty it up a little. So there you go. There's your mini tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it.